okay and I hope you've all seen my um, last video advertising my um, 500 subscriber giveaway um, just want to keep reminding people um, they have until what did I say the date was I think it was Saturday let me just look at my calendar Saturday the 7th of May to um, go over see the video which is a flip through of all the Edith Holden four seasons or envelope folios spring summer autumn and winter uh, surprise giveaway one lucky winner from anywhere in the world may be lucky to win one of those folios of their choice and all you have to do is go over like the video you know obviously watch it like it be a subscriber to my channel and um comment and tell me what you're making at the moment okay so today we are going to do week 18 of marguerite miller's collage weekly assignments volume 2 for 2022 so there's 52 um weeks of prompt assignments and i'm using this ring binder scrapbook which is beautiful lovely craft paper which i bought in hobby craft so they have various different designs on the front this one was actually in the sale so i thought why not so we're on week 18 so that was last time that was 17 and i like this ring binder because you can fold it over and just use that page and not have to worry about you know the other things behind it so this is an unusual one instead of having five prompts and a bonus we have this it says find a special photo that can serve as the focus of your collage look for additional papers that can enhance what you see in the photo so i thought and have a look in my collage book well i've got um, a lovely um edwardian book about edwardian society edwardian era in um more or less went from about 1901 to about 1910 roughly it was right at the end of the victorian era queen victoria died and so started the edwardian era which was extremely glam glamorous and the rich had everything and obviously the poor had nothing as usual um but it was very very much um a kind of landed gentry if you like upper class society um where uh they still had ladies um who would um not really be working you know only unless you were poor maybe you might be in a factory but they were ladies of leisure and they still had the coming out balls so the young ladies would be kind of on show almost a bit like a cattle market really for um prospective grooms who might you know enhance the family name they might add wealth to the family so this is a picture from that book and it is a photograph edwardian photography was quite advanced by then and um the way they portrayed things was quite fancy and these sort of they added on these fancy frames and everything and this is a photograph sepia photograph of a young lady i don't know how old she is but her name is miss lily brayton and she's portrayed here in a typical pose which looks like she's actually dressed like a peasant lady you know with the dress simple dress holding flowers and this would not have been i doubt her dress of the day um with her hair down looking quite ungroomed which again would not have been allowed i doubt um but they used to exercise their imagination for photographs and they like dressing up as different characters so you'll see sort of lots of women dressing up for their photographs as um 
all different characters like you know Roman Romany gypsies bohemian ladies all that sort of thing anyway so I'm going to use this photograph as my focal point it's quite big we will cut round it but this photograph was actually taken by a lady called Miss Kathleen Grant so you know she obviously did well and on the back there is another picture um, a couple of pictures here of um, ladies and gentlemen at the theatre and the opera um, because they could then display all their elegance you see that's what they like to do dress up to the nines go out and show everyone well look at me look at my jewelry look at my dress you know I've got the latest design from France and that sort of thing and then below there's a picture of um, lady who had her own car but actually didn't drive it herself she's got her chauffeur there one of those beautiful classic cars that you see so um yes yeah, so that's the sort of dress they would wear it was a little bit more relaxed i think than the victorian era but they still had the lovely hats they still were corseted at the waist so yeah, i'm going to use this one so i think the whole um picture my whole collage is going to be kind of around her and probably in more sepia so this is a a written page out of that book um so this is all about the uh, the 1900s lady so the 1900s lady was an edwardian lady and it talks about all the different places they could shop um, the most distinguished stores in the UK, you know, in London, Manchester. So there's all sorts of places that they like to frequent. Um, Dickens and Jones was one of the famous ones, and so was Fortnum and Mason. Um, so Harrods, obviously, um, which is still going strong. So, um, yeah, so I thought this is lovely aged paper, although the book... Is a reproduction it's not old but it's just been made to look old it's really lovely so i thought we could have some of that a bit of a scrap of music paper which is a bit sepia it's upside down actually and then out of a collage book i've just picked a few sepia pages of kind of edwardian bits and bobs that they might have like they'd have the spray perfume um they might have these button boots which they used a button hook to put up on well they didn't their late their maid would have used them there's a blouse this is a lady in her full regalia um the sort of china they might have had and where they might go you know and sit and have a cup of tea and cake because obviously they didn't have anything else to do <laughs> lucky them and then there's a pocket watch which ladies did have pocket watches um they still wore chatelaines which was the chain around the waist where they had keys to the house and um a pocket watch and things like that there's a typical edwardian ladies hat uh, another style of boot a higher boot probably calf length one of those corsets and there's another corset there i mean imagine wearing that and cinching in your waist and having to walk around all day looking you know with a smile on your face when you're actually probably in agony um that's just a nice sepia uh, little picture there of a hummingbird i think that is on a flower and then i found a kind of a just a collaged piece there which is um quite pretty i might use that so i thought we'd probably just go and use this so let's get started so i'm going to use my ruler and i'm just going to tear around this lovely photo um and i am going to try and keep that nameplate i think so we'll go as close to the edge as we can and I'd like to keep that frame too so that would be quite nice 
So let's give that an ink round with the vintage photo. Hope you're all doing okay. Uh, today is Sunday and we've got a bank holiday weekend, so we've got tomorrow off, which is lovely. Um, today, my husband and I went for the first time this year to a, a local car boot sale um, in an Oxford village um, called Tetsworth. And it's very drizzly, and sadly, yesterday was a beautiful day. Today was quite drizzly, so that was quite sad, really. So let's have a look at this. So we're going to, this is going to be my focal point, really. I think um, tear around some of this paper. Book page. Yeah, so that was quite nice to get out. We could take Paddy Dog with us, and he loves going to places like that. He's very friendly, he's very sociable, and he loves all the other dogs. But he also likes the smells, you know, um, and all of that. So maybe we'll just have a piece of this. I don't know, coming out of here maybe, like this. Um, perhaps we'll have a bit of this music. This is a digital one. It might actually be out of um, one of those single-sided um, scrapbook pads. I can't remember now. So, mm -hmm. She is going to take up quite a bit of the page. I think that's okay. It's not really a problem, is it? Um, let's have a bit more of this book page. Oh, it's quite thin. Um, that didn't go too well. <laughs> uh, maybe have that down there. Like so, I think that's kind of looking nice already. So we'll have a look at some of these extra bits and see what we want to put on. So I'm um, going to move that out of the way and that. And get the scissors out now. So this is quite nice. So we'll just fussy cut around this lovely image of this hummingbird. So, you know, it's so very elegant. So, keeping with the elegant theme, I think. Yeah, so um, I'm really pleased that I've reached the 500 subscriber mark. Uh, may have overtaken it, actually. Um, it's been brilliant, actually. You know, really lovely. And I'm not sorry now to have finished the Edith Holden Four Seasons folios. I have to be honest, I towards the end, I was getting a bit fed up with seeing just the same old thing. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say, isn't it? But, yeah, I just yearning to do something a bit different, really. Um, so... I think I'm going to go totally different, whatever I decide to do next. So we'll have one of these small corsets on. So I think I've got to surround her in things that she's going to have to start. You know, she could only be about 12, 13, uh, that young lady. But she's going to have to start getting used to all the um, accoutrements of a, an Edwardian lady and how they... You know, are expected to dress and behave, um, be seen, you know. Uh, There's a whole thing about promenading, you know, around the local park or lots of the seaside towns. They used to promenade a lot, Victorians and Edwardians, mainly along the piers. Um, 
to just show off show off and also make themselves known to especially the women um, and the parents would want their daughters known to the young gentleman um, because the whole thing the whole um, way of life was about marrying your daughter off to somebody well to do who could support them and you you know a lot of the time they had to have a dowry um, and uh, they expected their husband to be to be worthy um, yes but I think it became a kind of an emancipation area really where women started to rebel a little bit and decide and then along came the first world war so once that came along that changed everything changed all of that society nonsense um and the world was never the same again afterwards women started doing more things for themselves and eman becoming emancipated you know and then you had the um, the movement of, of Emily Pank Parkhurst, Pankhurst, Pankhurst, her name was, I think, and all of that, so, you know. Um, so I don't think it was Emily, but one of her suffragettes did did go to the Grand National, where I believe Edward was, King Edward, and I might be wrong. And um, threw herself under one of the horses, so as a, you know, protest. But we are very lucky, us women. You know, those women died for us, didn't they? And did an awful lot to make our lives so free, liberated, you know. And it's amazing now. Everyone's so independent, which is great. I think we've got plenty of bits to put on here, so let's get the perfume bottle off of there. And we'll fussy cut that out. And this whole page is going to be in these sepia colours which I think is quite nice for change some of the comments I've had for my 500 subscriber giveaway have been extremely interesting some of the comments about projects that are being you know uh, started and are underway at the moment um, fascinating so I'd definitely be trying to, while I'm on leave for the next couple of days, trying to catch up with watching some videos and seeing some of these lovely things. Right, let's, let's, you know, ink round. I just want to tear that for some reason. I just want to make that, I don't know, not so straight. I just felt like doing that. It's so nice to feel well again as well. Oh, one of my consultants has now gone down with COVID um, in my team. It just seems to be never ending, but I didn't have COVID. I haven't had COVID, but the virus I had, which started the week before Easter, I'm still, you know, right at the tail end of it. All the lateral flows I did were all negative, every one of them. So, you know, you start wondering whether um, these lateral flows are as accurate as they make out, really. Um, I don't know. My neighbour had this sort of virus before Christmas and... He was not for six, and I kept thinking, oh, you know, is he just being a man? You know what men are like. Men, men, 
whenever they have a cold it's always far far worse than us you know women we tend to be a stronger I shouldn't say that should I I get lots of comments from men saying here yeah. <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> No, I don't mean any disrespect to anybody at all. Just chatting. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. Chatting nonsense. Nearly finished uh, the little panel for Maze's um, quilt, for Love Quilts. So I'm very pleased about that. But I didn't want to do any while I wasn't well. I didn't really want to touch it. Although I do have to wash it before I send it off and we have to press it. But I didn't really want to touch it and contaminate it with anything you know okay let's have a look see what we've got now so we're going to put that down there like that and then that can go kind of maybe put that over the top there and that underneath there like so just peeking out and then I wanted, actually don't really need to use all of that, move it up a bit, so I'll have that there. And then I'm going to dot round these lovely items, so let's, we'll have this bird up here I think. And then we've got this beautiful hat. And we've got her nice boot here and the corset and pocket watch and not forgetting the scent bottle so i quite like all of those um just going to get my sticker tin out i see well have i got a, any stickers in my I've got a box with some stickers in as well, so might as well um, perhaps put a couple of these on maybe. These are all the same sort of colour. That would be quite nice. Um, what else have I got? Um, some of these lovely sticker, almost like bits of washi. Um, they're quite nice, aren't they? Uh, I suppose we could inject a bit of colour into it, maybe. That's a nice one. one that's on some music paper there's various there's a lot of fairy things in here which you won't need um, and one of those boxes I had I'm struggling now to remember the name of it, but I haven't had one for a long time. These are all little like vellum invoices. Just looking to see if there's anything. I'm terrible. I'd like to keep, like it to be in keeping with, um, there's a soap on there, in keeping with the, the era. <laughs> Which is just the way I am. Um, uh, I didn't get my sticker tin out. I don't think I need to really because we limited us to the space anyway. Uh, hmm. ah, I just want to quit poke around in here for a minute I'm 
Mm, I don't think there's anything else that grabs me in there. Uh, no. Those have all got mushrooms on. I don't really think they're in keeping. Okay, right. Let's put those over there. Oh, should we substitute that one for one with a bit more colour on, maybe? Uh, where is... Where are, are they? I put them over here. So, let's have a look. I really like these strips. really like them. Um... Kind of like the yellow, so maybe we'll have. We'll see if we can fit any of that on. Right, okay. So I've just going to just um, distress that one, and maybe this too because it's quite pale. But we could put that as another layer under something else. Right, okay. Let's. Let's get these down first and we can then arrange all the bits afterwards. So just going to get some more page. And I should have got out already, but I didn't. Okay, that will do. This down first. Oh, that's gone a bit dry. I think the temperatures, oh, the weather, and all of that are beginning to affect my glues a bit. It's going to wipe that off. There, it's a big lump. Well, there's one good thing, it's not going to come off, is it? And we'll put this bit. It's because I left the lid off. I was doing something else earlier and I left the lid off and now I'm paying for it. So we'll put that there. Oh, I just roll my sleeves up a minute. I feel like they're getting in the way. Okay turn that over already oh now paddy dog's come up because he dad is downstairs and it's daddy's turn to make dinner um and daddy so he's come up to tell me that but i don't need to come down yet paddy do i you know you're very bossy at times been very naughty today he decided he was going to run off up the road earlier and Daddy had to go and run after him. <laughs> I, had to, um, I must admit, I shouldn't laugh. It was quite amusing. <laughs> he just took it into his head. Uh, he thought he was going to have a little wander around, I think. Not satisfied with being taken out this morning for a few hours. Okay. So let's um, let's cut that in half, I think, and I'm going to put half on this side here, and the other half. I'm going to put on the opposite side. Here, I think. Like that. Now, let's see where we want to put this. Um, put a bit of that, I guess, down here. Or we'll just, I think, we're going to cut down the middle of it, make it narrower. I 
do like to distress around the stickers if I can. And I think we'll pop a piece down. Like that. We'll use this a little bit, not waste it. So you can go there. And we've got a piece we could put up there if we want to. Okay, we'll put Are you asking me to come down, Paddy? Are you telling me it's time to come down? I don't think it is. I think I think Daddy will call me when dinner's ready, you know? That's what usually happens, Paddy. So, um, anyway, I've just put that over the edge. Oh, I can't see the edge of the paper. <laughs> Here. There it is. I'm just giving it a bit of background sort of um, interest, really. I'm just going to put that one there, like so, and then. We will stick some things on, so let's let's put this hat down. So we're going to cover up some of that anyway, but it's good because we know what's behind it. And then I'm going to be predictable and put the, sh the, the boot down the bottom. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of put the boot like that. And then we've got our piece of vellum. So we could put that over there. And start curling up, I expect. Like that. So you can still see everything through it. I love vellum. I love the fact that you can layer it up all sorts underneath it. We'll put this corset here. These are all the things I think this young lady will need to be wearing soon. If they started young. So the vellum doesn't like the glue. No, they don't like most glues, I think, vellum. So it's curling up. So that is going to keep that down. And I think we'll put the watch there. She hasn't got much time, has she? Time is important. So I think if okay, sorry about that. Oh dear, Paddy's gone off downstairs. <laughs> sorry about that. Hearing when my dinner's gonna be ready. So obviously he understands now that dinner's not ready yet. So he's gone off now because he knows that it's too soon. <laughs> 
just going to put that 18 there. She could actually be 18, but she looks very, very young. To me, she looks like she could be 12, 11 or 12. It's hard to know, really. So I'm going to put that there. Now I'm going to do my usual writing on. And I do apologise. I did stop the video, but not in time. <laughs> Goodness. So I want to put on here. I'm going to put it under her name. Hashtag 2022 Planner 18 And that is the only real pop of colour apart from the, the yellow So that's it, let's put that away Rubbish Let's find the lid for this because it's obviously not happy <laughs> And there we have it. So, hashtag 2022 Planner 18. This week was find a special photo that can serve as the focus of your collage. Look for additional papers that can enhance what you see in the photo. So, I, I've found a lovely photograph in a book about the 1900s lady. Um, and it's a young lady called Lily Brayton. She's just an Edwardian girl that's had a photograph taken and I've just surrounded her, layered her on some of the book page out of that book and some music paper and various articles of clothing that she may have to wear soon once she becomes a young woman. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was... That looks nice. I think it's nice, actually. It's a totally different to some of my other ones, which are <laughs> extremely colourful. That one is. That's all food. This one. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, they're all different. It's, it's amazing looking through them. Really lovely, I think, to look back on them. Anyway, that's week 18 of Marguerite Miller's 52-week collage challenge. 52 weeks of prompt assignments and it's volume two for 2022 so i hope you enjoyed that and um what we do sometimes is we look to see what we've got next week so week 19 and i think i'm on track with the weeks back to the five prompts and bonus so for hashtag 2022 planner 19 if you want to join in um, the five prompts are dancing, so that could be anything to do with dancing, a label, the next noun you hear from someone saying in whichever form, or the next noun you hear someone saying in whichever form, so the next noun that you hear, then something in black and white, a geometrical shape, and the bonus is something stapled. And that's week 19. So that's dancing, a label, the next noun you hear someone saying, something in black and white, a geometrical shape, and bonus is something stapled. So um, that's next week's, week 19. So that's it from me. I'll go and uh, go diligently down now that Mr Paddy's ordered me to go down. Have a break from this because what I've been doing is off camera. It's something I've just been fit playing around with off camera. I've just been playing around with a different style of journal uh, as a kind of a prototype. So I won't say any more. Keep it as a surprise. I like surprises. Anyway, that's enough from me. Um, take care, everyone. I hope you're all keeping well and busy and trying your best to get as much crafting in as you can <laughs> and I'll see you all again soon so take care bye bye